It's time to break out bright and bold accessories for the summer. What better way to make a statement than with a yellow designer bag? I have scoured as many yellow designer bags as I could find to bring you the top 11 yellow designer bags for summer. My top 11, rather. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So the first one I'm bringing to the <laughs> The first one I'm bringing you is from Miu Miu. This is the Wonder Montalase Napa Leather Mini Hobo Bag. So hobo bags have been in for, I don't even know how long at this point, since last year, since the year before, okay? Seasons and seasons ago. So this one's no different. It's just a nice yellow buttery color. I love the texture of it. I don't necessarily like that Miu Miu label or logo at the front, but hey, I wanted to bring you this option anyway, because I think it's still adorable. It has a longer crossbody strap. You can rock it as a shoulder bag. And I just think it's cute. It's different, it's not, like a typical hobo bag that you see everywhere. It's a gorgeous yellow shade too. And you can wear it different ways, which is always nice. There's versatility to be had with this bag. Has a zipper at the top. I don't know about an interior pocket. I'm like, look how soft that leather looks. It looks great. And gold hardware. This one retails for $27.50. Coming in at a different price point, this one is from Marc Jacobs. This is the J Mark mini bag in sun. I think this one's absolutely adorable. Now, I think I think yellow is one of those colors that looks great with yellow or gold or wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yellow is one of those colors that look great with gold or silver hardware, even gunmetal too, in my opinion. This one happens to have silver hardware, which I think kind of scales it back a little bit. It's not super dressy, it's not super elevated, but I really like this one. It does have a thicker utility strap that says Marc Jacobs. It has a silver chain if you don't want to wear the utility strap or you can rock them both together. You can wear a cross body shoulder, kind of the same ordeal as the last bag, except you can't really do a top handle. There's no handle. <laughs> I wanted to make sure everything was handled perfectly by the book, no mistakes. It's just a flap over closure. And you can even wear it as a clutch if you would like. This one retails for $2.95 if I didn't mention that. Great price point. Also with this one, you don't have to worry about wearing or bringing a card holder because it has a built-in interior card holder <laughs> inside. It's also an inner zipper at the front in the inside, which is nice so you can store valuables in there that you don't necessarily want to be out in the open in the big opening. So this is a great option if you're not looking to spend a ton of money on a yellow designer bag, but you still want something nice. This one is from Prada. Of course, Prada does color so well, in my opinion. This one is a duet. Re nylon shoulder bag in citron yellow, I believe. Yes, citron yellow. So this is a bucket style bag, which is also trending at this point. It has a nice top handle if you wish to wear it that way. Drawstring, it is nylon, so it's a bit lower maintenance than leather. $1,800, a bit steep, but we've come to under, not understand it, but kind of be used to the idea of Prada nylon being pricey. This is kind of how it is with them. You can't really avoid it. This is getting really expensive. This one, contrast to the other one, in contrast to the last one. God, why can't I talk? This one does not have a utility strap. This one has a thinner, more wearable strap that's adjustable, which is nice. So you can wear it differently, different ways. Has a front zippered pocket as well, Plata, Prada, plaque, triangle at the front of the bag, which is nice. And the back, you know, pretty simple there large interior opening so you can hold all of your essentials and a bit more in this one. I think this is a great option too. It's super cute. I've always admired this bag. I just never had a rhyme or reason to get one, but I still really like it. Never talked about this brand name before, but I thought it was worth mentioning. This one, please forgive me if I'm butchering this. I'm quite sure I am. Franzi, 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 Margarita Small Leather Top Handle Bag. So I just love this one. It has minimal hardware. The only hardware you have are the two top silver buckles, not buckles, but like rings at the top to attach a longer strap. And then the little buckle at the top, but the entire bag is yellow, it has a cute little top handle and is very structured, very unique. I have not seen this style of bag anywhere. I've seen the style as far as, you know, top handle structure the usual, but as far as being made like this, I really like this. The interior is nice, inner slit pocket, and it has like a sturdy close closure <laughs> at the top. If you notice that it's possibly magnetic or it might be like a little snap closure, but this is really nice. And you can see the hardware there, very minimal. I just really like this, it's unique. It is a bit pricey, it's $4,800, but 
and thought it was still worth sharing as it's unique. You guys are gonna be rich, guaranteed, guaranteed. This one is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is the Sicily mini bag in plain calf skin. And I think the name of this color is what? Yellow, it's just yellow. So this one is $6.95, I mean, it's a mini bag. And it does still come with a longer strap that's adjustable. Top handle, structured, the usual silver hardware. Interior opening, looks like some sort of satin material in the inside. But in the event that you just can't do anything that small, they do have a bigger version, a small patent bag that is $16.95, the same style, except it's bigger, still has a top handle. It still has silver hardware, it's a bit longer though and it has a longer strap bit of a spoiler alert i have spoiler alert. this mini size here in this camouflage color i don't think i've shared this yet i got it it was one of my birthday gifts to myself but i just really like this style and y'all know camouflage is my favorite print i know it's weird but <laughs> i've just always liked camouflage for some reason and i like that style of bag and i really like it i don't know i just like it <laughs> Also, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So to make sure you don't miss any luxury videos, be sure to subscribe. In the event you don't want anything super in your face yellow, but you still want yellow, but you want a bit more muted, Givenchy, Givenchy has this moon cutout small shoulder bag. And this is in a much muted yellow. It still has silver hardware. It's still the same hobo style. I think the name of this color is... It's not actually telling me, but it's on my Teresa at the moment. It has white right on the front, Givenchy Paris. It still has um, a top handle, has a longer strap too. Well, just a shoulder strap, which is silver. And I just think it's cute. I don't know, I like it. It's a nice hobo style. So you're still, you know, able to tap into that trend a little bit and still get a taste of yellow into your wardrobe. I really like how she styled this with black and gray. I think it's, a, it's the perfect pop of yellow. If you don't want to do an intense pop of yellow, this one is a little bit more wearable. But y'all know I don't care about that. I don't care about wearable. <laughs> I like my bold colors, okay? This one is so outside of my budget, so outside of the norm for me, but I really, really like this one. And it's from a brand I don't typically really like. But this one is from Valentino. This is the Loco Small Embellished Shoulder Bag. OMG, $4,900. That's what I'm talking about, that price. But I typically don't like the V logo, okay? But when I saw this, that just completely went out the window. I really like this. I really like the jewels. Love the choice color of hardware. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It has a chain strap or you can use the leather one, both detachable. So you can wear it how you want. The only thing that concerns me are these jewels on the back, especially if you wear it against your body. You know, will it fall off easily? It just seems like too much maintenance, but I still want to share it because it's really cute. I think this is more of like an event type of bag, you know, a wedding, graduation, you know, prom, something like that. Nothing like an everyday type of bag, not like an everyday type not like an everyday top type bag <laughs> this next one is from chanel this is the mini square flat bag and yellow lambskin with light gold hardware now i think this price is absolutely outrageous let me just say that but all of the prices are it's new but it's sixty five hundred dollars now to be fair this website the madison avenue couture that i'm sharing with you they often mark their prices up anyway I feel like but i just wanted to share it with you because y'all know i love the square minis the rectangular minis are okay i just prefer the squares i know i'm probably in the one percent that does but i do hey but i really like this one it's cute obviously i love it cute little back pocket oh. and it's just adorable longer strap you can wear it cross body shoulder top handle if you wrap it around a few times inner slip pocket you know the usual made in italy zippered interior i didn't know it had a zippered interior and a slip pocket what that's even better next one from tom ford this is the bianca mini hobo bag retails for 21.13 kind of a weird price well that's pre-owned well, I guess that's the only one we have to show you. Yeah, okay, 2113. <laughs> I just always, I've always, I've always loved the Bianca style, the hobo shape, how sexy it looks. The top handle was, blah, the top handle that has gold hardware, the gold writing on the bag, the little tiny TF, the little tiny Tom Ford, slightly quiet, but still there, you know. I just really like this one. 
I feel like I keep saying it, but I really do like this one. I think it's cute. I love the croc. I don't typically like croc when it comes to bags, but I think this one is done very well. And it's also not super outrageous in price. So there's that. Don't think this, it does come with a longer strap. That's chain and leather, which is nice. It's not full chain. So different ways in which you can wear it. The straps are removable, which is nice. This one is from Burberry. And this is the elongated TB Croc Embossed Leather Crossbody Bag in Cool Lemon and Marigold. <sighs> Love the color choices and gradient for this bag. Love the gold hardware against it. I don't think this would have looked good with silver. That's just me. But of course I love the structure of it. It has a slight east to west vibe and that gold just looks great against this. Oh man, I love it. This kind of reminds me of the Alexander McQueen bag that's like this. I can't think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of it, but it's very similar to that. But another great alternative, if you want something slightly dressy or slightly different, you don't want it to be all yellow. You kind of want a bit unique, you want a bit of a unique style. This is a great option. And compared to the price of a lot of other exotic bags, I feel like $24.90 isn't too horrible. I'm like dying over this one. I'm dying, literally dying. This is the Dior Small Lady De Joy Bag in Lime Yellow Patent Canage Calfskin. This color, the texture, the patent texture of this, the gold hardware. Mmm, absolutely amazing. $4,300 though. Top handles, east to west vibe, longer strap. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, MG. I love the interior and everything. I love everything about this. I'm just so madly in love with you. And it does close. This little flap here opens over the entire bag, which is nice and not wide open. And as mentioned, it has a longer strap. Chain and leather, which y'all know is like the perfect combination. You don't have to worry about the chain cutting into your skin, nor do you have to worry about if you sweat a lot, like me, with the hardware tarnishing because it's on your shoulder. Oh, this color, this color, this color. I want a lady to joy. Let me know in the comments if y'all have one of these. I'm just curious. I've been wanting one for, for quite some time, but I just cannot stomach that price. The price, oh. But I feel like with everything I bought recently, I could have bought one at this point, even with the price, but. So I hope you found some inspiration for your next yellow summer bag. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos like these. And in case you missed the last one, here it is. If you own any yellow designer bags that I missed, leave them down in the comments. Talk soon. Ugh. Leave them down in the comments. Talk soon.